The candidate that's been elected is Lillian Hansen. Fort St. John has a new city councillor. Executive Director of the Chamber of Commerce Lilia Hansen won Dan Davies' former seat with 258 votes. Hansen beat out the other six candidates running for the position, besting her closest competitor, Becky Grimsrud, by just 14 votes. She says she's ready to get to work. It's continuing to build our community. Uh, there's a really good framework in place and continue building a strong community. Economic development is definitely one of my passions. I believe you need a strong community, you need people working uh, to have our social programs. I'd also like to encourage advanced education programs coming to Fort St. John as well. Hansen is no stranger to the public eye, having worked with City Hall through her position with the Chamber of Commerce. Mayor Lori Ackerman says she likes what Hansen brings to the table. What I have seen, uh, Lilia is very dedicated, uh, very conscientious about the work that she does, and she has built a significant network in the province that is going to help this city open doors. The next big event on Council's radar is the Union of BC Municipalities Convention, set to run at the end of September. Hansen says she's excited to meet with provincial officials. I've saved the date. I've just marked that date off on my calendar. I'm looking forward to having the opportunity to meet with ministers there and give a perspective from our citizens as to concerns we have here and how they can help us meet our goals. Ackerman says she hopes that the initial meetings at the end of the month will help to open doors for future opportunities for the city. It's always um, good to bring some solutions to those in Victoria on issues that we have here. So, um, you know, we, we always know that meeting with them in at the Union of BC Municipalities is very short. I often refer to it as speed dating, um, but it, it does open a door and probably open a door to further meetings if the uh, issue is something that we can move forward on. While Hansen won the initial vote count, the results aren't final yet. The other candidates now have a chance to challenge the results over the coming week and demand a recount. Hugh Smith, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.